injury in last night's game. See how well he's able to move here early on. Valanciunas blocked by Westbrook. I knew that Westbrook was going to come out with added energy. Team losing four in a row, losing two. Blake Griffin with four on the clock. Blake trying to get to the basket. Forces a foul. The shot goes. But the foul's before the shot, says Brian Forte. I, I think the foul is on the shot, but he shoots this from behind the backboard, and that's not going to count. He shoots that from over the backboard. One saw George Gerben make a shot like that. Derrick Rose. Oh, Carl Anthony Towns there for the putback slam. So, watch, see the shot here by Derrick. Still a little flat, but Carl was right there. Came off soft and bounced off the front of the rim and bounced in a crazy direction. Came right off. Much right next to the building. <laughs> Didn't matter when in Chicago, when it's cold, it's cold. Oof. Inside, Alex got behind the defense. Slams it home, and he is having a half. 14 points for Alex Lamb. Tucker kept it alive, but he tipped it to Hayward. Well, he got an advantage. Brown on the move. Pretty. Punching it home. Excellent rebound. And the quick. Either of them, and I think Shamit with more of an opportunity is probably playing with more confidence than Robinson right now. But right. Well, well look at that. You don't want to leave either of those two open. And here's the thing: when you have two floor spacers, along with all these young, all these other young guys, huge upside. Clippers in control. Early in that game against the Celtics, they started 0 of 10 from the field. Austin led by as many as 15, and then they came back. And Scott Brooks was talking about it. it's a disturbing trend for his team. Oh, Kogi skies for the one-handed putback slam. The oohs and ahs from the crowd here. <laughs> I don't remember you doing that. <laughs> Maybe once or twice. <laughs> once or twice, it might have happened. In your lifetime. So oh! On the cut and cry. A whole nice move. I'm just trying to plead the case for Evan Fournier, but no case necessary for Nick Stauskas and everybody loved it. Wizards do have eight players who scored in this game. And Carl Anthony Towns with the flush. What a first half he's having. 17 on 8 of 11. So with his second bucket tonight, third foul of the game on Sadoransky. Now look at Towns getting loose in the lane. Off the bench. There's a strip and a steal off of Valanciunas. Now Schroeder. The lob up the head. Jeremy Grant throws it down the hatch. Thunder been waiting for a spark all night long. Maybe that'll do it. Back-to-back -back buckets here in the fourth quarter. Of course, in Memphis.